The exhibition is called Peter Fishley, David Weiss, How to Work Better, and that title is derived from a mural permanently installed on a wall in Zurich. They, as artists slash workers slash slackers, really play with that notion of how to be creative, how to be productive, how to be meaningful. Peter Fishley, David Weiss, How to Work Better opens in a roughly chronological order, but as you move up through the ramps, it quickly departs from any sense of chronology, opting instead to create pairings of bodies of work from different moments in Fishley and Weiss's career. This will be the first comprehensive overview of their work, their collaboration, which lasted 33 years, beginning in 1979 to 2012 in an American museum, and in fact in a New York museum, which is quite exciting. Fishley and Weiss started collaborating in 1979 with a group of photographs that they called Sausage Series. And this series really generated the key terms that would run throughout their entire career. Their trademark wit and humor, their use of unexpected materials, the idea of accumulating a series, working in series, and their interest in popular culture. In this process, they reframed these events that we see happen all the time as part of everyday life. Fishley and Weiss have always been conscious of the notion of dualities. And they really set out to undo that very notion and, and play with this tension between what we perceive to be opposites. And in fact, they have a series within a series they call Popular Opposites. And it is certainly present in the book Order and Cleanliness, where they create diagrams uh, that somehow allegedly, but actually quite comically, map the universe according to these perceived opposites. One thing that distinguishes the exhibition is the prominent place that it gives a moving image in Fishley and Weiss's work. The artists worked in many mediums during the course of their career, in photography, sculpture, they made books, they did drawings, they made public art, but they repeatedly came back to the ideas of film and video and slide installations. Fishley and Weiss's alter egos, Rat and Bear, make their first appearance in their film, The Least Resistance, which they finished in 1981. And throughout their career, these characters serve as stand-ins for the artists that allow them to both mask themselves so that their work becomes less about the creations of Fishley and Weiss themselves than about the creations of these characters, and also to explore, again, the idea of popular opposites. So by staging these two characters as equally sized partners in a series of misadventures, Fishley and Weiss start to get at some of the humorous way that they can subvert our uh, expectations about reality. Fishley and Weiss operate in an interrogative mode. Many of the works are, are framed around the idea of asking questions. So there is the question pot, which is part of the gray sculptures, and it is a vessel made out of polyurethane in which a viewer can peer into, and there are questions that literally circle around the interior, written in German, and like the early questions from Rat and Bear in The Least Resistance, they are both big and little questions, so questions that deal with the most banal issues to the most cosmic. Because of the dialogic way that Fishley and Weiss worked, having these ongoing conversations in their practice, many of their works take the form of accumulations or archives of smaller parts. Fishley and Weiss first explored this way of working in their series Suddenly This Overview, which they began in 1981. And the idea for this body of work was to create a sort of subjective encyclopedia of all of human knowledge and history using hand-molded small clay figurines, each one of which would be a small scene that ranged from a scene of someone waiting for the elevator or shopping in the supermarket, so like the most banal everyday activities, to historic events like Mick Jagger and Brian Jones walking home satisfied after having composed I Can't Get No Satisfaction, or the construction of the pyramids in Egypt. Fishley and Weiss use deadpan humor, non-ironic humor, as a way to comment on how we perceive the everyday, the things we take for granted, for instance, the amateur photograph, the 
snapshot of our travels and, and things that we don't tend to value, they elevate and give it a, a place in terms of a hierarchy and high art and, and they also render it very, very beautiful. And I think that what they embraced was a kind of normalcy in a way, very self-consciously, almost a performance of a normalcy. So what you have in their work are postcard views and airport views and, and 96 hours of video of just people going about their daily lives. They're going to show us back our world, but with great poignancy and great appreciation. We go through life taking for granted certain things around us and really ignoring, filtering out a lot of the content of our everyday life. And Fischl and Weiss's work draws things out of that background and brings it to the front through these little twists of presentation that attempt to restore a sense of wonder with the everyday.